We are the temple of God. First, the house of God is the tabernacle, since the tabernacle is portable. Whenever it is moved, the ark of God is moved, and thus the place is moved. Solomon built the temple in the place where the ark was located, and God moved the site of the temple. The dwelling place of God was the tabernacle. Building used to be where God was, but when Jesus Christ came into the world, building and the temple were no longer needed. Jesus came, accomplished all things, died on the cross, was resurrected on the third day, stayed with his disciples for forty days, and then ascended to heaven. After Jesus ascended into heaven, the Holy Spirit came. The Holy Spirit came and came into the heart of those who believed in Jesus Christ. Those who believe have become the temple of God. God is in the kingdom of God, and God gave the name of the temple. But Jesus Christ came. He went back to the kingdom of God, and the Holy Spirit came. What does this mean? In Second Corinthians chapter five, verse one, it is said that when the house of the tent of the flesh is destroyed, the body disappears and the spirit remains, and the spirit enters the dwelling place of God. We can see that Jesus was resurrected and had a changed body, not a human body. The saint put on the dwelling place that. Comes from heaven like Jesus. Those who put on the dwelling place of God become one with God. The Apostle Paul tells the saint, "The Holy Spirit has sealed them. The word sealed is that belong to God. Making a seal is a promise to become one with God. The saint will become the temple." Because it has been stamped, it is in the state of having a physical body, but it becomes the temple of God. God's promise cannot be changed. When we say the temple in the material world, it refers to a certain building. But spiritually, the saint also becomes temples, and everything that God is will become a temple. The kingdom of God is the temple. Spiritually, Jesus is the temple, and the saint in Christ becomes the temple. When people who believe in Jesus receive the new life in Christ and become spiritual body, all of them become temples. Essentially, the temple is one with God in Christ. The kingdom of God and the material world were cut off. God is not in this world because there is no light of God. So. Human do not know about the kingdom of God. Human beings apart from God cannot hear or know about the kingdom of God. I showed salvation in a broken relationship that was the temple. When God gave the temple to Israel, it was a promise to show that I will dwell among you like this, and I will receive you as my children in the future. God will give them a temple, and I will bring you back to being one with me. And the fulfillment of that promise is Jesus Christ. Next time, I will explain those who have already entered into.